Hello everyone, this is Ratu498 or Huntsman Ratu. Um, this is a, a challenge set by Bobby Huntsman and he has set a challenge that you have to defend the side with the hill on Austerlitz and you have to defend it against four Russian armies with 20 units each. Uh, maximum of 12 line, maximum of 6 lights, maximum of 6 cav. So my four Russian armies have 6 lights each, 6 cav each, and 8 line. They have uh, their general in a Cossack cav unit. So my army, I've got, f I believe I've got 4 Polish, I've got 1 Brave Regiment, I've got 4 uh, lights, the uh, vaults. I've got three heavy cav, one Polish guard lancers. I've got uh, two old guard and a general. So basically I've moved to the little river area where there's one entrance. I've staked up around it with my vaults, firing, being able to fire over the river and being able to fire at the opening. And I've got two ranks behind. I've got one line down on the bottom of the hill and one line on the top of the hill so I get all my units firing at the same time. Uh, the plan is basically as you can see here the Polish guard lancers have charged in. It's just basically charge one heavy cav unit every now and then to keep them pinned in and to stop them from being able to get anywhere near my lines. The more I can keep them pinned in the more firepower I'm going to have shooting at them. As soon as the Russian lines get to mine it's all over and I would lose. Uh, the Russian melee is excellent so I can't let them get to my melee so I'm hoping my uh, heavy cav will hold them up long enough that I can shoot them and then I'm expecting my old guard unit, both my two old guard units are there on the left uh, one on the top, one on the bottom I'm expecting the one on the bottom to run out of ammo first so I can charge them in and then they can hold up the Russian advance. I've then got one old guard unit behind which are going to move down and take their position and a Polish unit in support which will then fill the position of the other old guard. So I'll still have the two ranks going around. This is the plan. Um, so there's an, a heavy cap unit in there holding them up. You see they're holding them up perfectly, doing an excellent job. They'll be able to hold them up for quite a long time which means my vaults will be able to get some good shots off. I've actually done that slightly wrong. I should have let them come a little bit further so my line could have been firing as well. The other concern here, uh, I've also got four stake lines. So as you can see on the ground there, there's uh, two stakes in the middle, one on each flank. <coughs> Stop their cav coming through. So the lines will fire in there. Here comes another uh, heavy cav unit coming in to hold them up. As you see, there's an awful lot of Russian men to kill. The bonus with this is I'm hoping to get a chain route. So if a couple of the Russian units, as you can see their morale's all very low, if a couple of the Russian units start to route, the others around them will get scared and hopefully they'll start to route as well. Because if this goes down to an actual fight, I'd lose in melee, I'd lose in a firefight. <coughs> so basically the only way I can beat them is to try and make them all just run away. As you can see there's a few units routing already. But as you can see there's a lot of Russian men in there and there's a load more on the hillside and a load more on the top of the hill as well. And a load more to the left coming around as well. So all in all there should be 80 units I think. 80 units which would be uh, 24 cav, uh, 24 lights and 8, 16, 32. 32 of the line uh, units. They're just normal musketeers. I haven't gone for... there's no militia in there and there's no elite units in there. Uh, I wouldn't c consider doing this against the elite units. They'll, they'll take an awfully long time to route and the chances are they'll get to my lines pretty quickly so it'll be quite silly for me to do that. As you can see there's a chain route going on there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six units routing away there seven if you include the one at the bottom so there's a little chain route going on there and there'll be a few more of them as the all the other units come down as well so there's a lot of men to be fighting against at the moment they've got no one near my lines there's another heavy cav unit in there which is holding up the Russian advance which is 
basically saving me. If the heavy cab, I've still got one heavy cab in behind as well to do it again afterwards. If the heavy cab isn't there holding them up, basically they're just going to run to my lines and run straight through me. Um, can't can't take the risk of that happening. So there's more Russian cav coming in from behind. And here, as you can see, as I said earlier, the first old guard unit will run out of ammo. And they have now. So I've decided to charge them in, which will hold them up a bit longer. Also, the old guard are very, very scary. Um, so they will help with any chain route I'm going to be able to get. In the distance there in the background, you can see the Polish guard, uh, the Polish unit, moving up, going to sit on top of that hillside, on top of the old guard. And they will be able to fire away. There's another chain route going on there. Uh, seven or eight units routing away. Uh, some more units routing in the middle. As I said before, the only way I'm going to win this is just by getting them to route. It's not by killing a huge amount of men. I think I end up killing somewhere near 4,000, but it's basically just to get them to run away as quickly as possible. I believe some of the units running away have um, over 100 men in them at the end. So you can see the <laughs> a mass amount of men in there coming at me and calf as well in there. There's quite a bit of calf still coming through as well. So here I've got no way to hold them up anymore. So here I actually think I'm going to lose this. Because there's no way for me to hold them up. I've used all my heavy cav. My old guard have gone in for melee. I've got one old guard unit left but I really want to use them shooting as much as I can. So here as you see they start engaging the uh, vaults at the top. And they're going to get up to them now. There's uh, another little chain route going on there, another four or five units routing away. So here they've started melee my vaults. The vaults actually do very, very well holding up against them. They do, and they allow my lines behind to shoot a lot of them down. Uh, I'm watching the ammo bars all the time because obviously I will run out of ammo very very quickly. There's probably somewhere near 6,000 men there to kill. So it's an awful lot of bullets you're going to need to try and kill those men. So that wouldn't be happening very easily. Here I thought I was going to get a cav charge from my old guard. We're going to get a cav charge, but they didn't. They hit the vaults and stopped. Obviously the stakes have now all been pretty much destroyed as the amount of cav that have gone through have just flattened them. So here as you can see they're actually going into melee now and as I said before this is, I thought I was all lost now. I didn't think there was going to be much chance of me winning it but I eventually get another chain route and it works out perfectly. I've moved my general up, give them a little bit of extra morale because I don't want my guys running away, that's the last thing I want them to be doing. So the general's just going to sit behind now and give them all a little bit of extra morale to um, hold on. So the old guard unit is still in square. There's still some cab floating around in there, that's the reason they're still in square. So there's a few more units running away. So you can see all the lines still firing down on them. Our men are running, sir. As you can see there's still a huge amount of Russians left there. You can see all the <laughs> the mass dead bodies on the floor. So as it turns out in this battle though, I only actually managed to kill one general, which surprises me a lot. There's still two generals up on the hillside there, but the other two have disappeared, and I, ne I didn't actually manage to kill them, so they must have just routed away with everyone else. Um, I chose a Cossack Cav, because they've only got a morale of four, so basically if they hit a st stake line, they're pretty much route straight after that, so that gives me a bit of an advantage. The Musketeers have got a morale of seven, I believe, which is quite difficult to get them to route. But the other bonus for doing what I did was the fact that the two armies on the far side would have had to walk right the way across the map to come and get to me, which means they would have been very tired at the end of doing that. So as you can see now there's a little train route going on again there. More and more Russian units routing away. And I believe my brave regiment in the middle there have gone in for melee, and they do actually manage to get three or four experience, I think, in fighting the Russians, which is... Um, quite unbelievable really as you can see there's another chain route going on and basically I'll skip forward because obviously I've only got a certain amount of time on this so I was just basically showing this um, 
to show what was done. Uh, they asked me to post it, so I've posted it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the massacre. Uh, it was all AI, and they were set on. I'm not sure whether they were set on normal or easy. I'm pretty sure they were easy, but I'm not 100%. Uh, they didn't seem to form any squares on my cav charges or anything, so it leads me to believe it was easy. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.